and welcome to the Spirit of Nature Art. And today is the 29th of December 2022 and I have just finished my art journal for the year. And I thought it would be fun for us to do a flip through and have a little look at um, what I do when I'm not doing my altered books. So art journaling is really important to me, but this is the first year I have done uh, a journal quite like this. Um, I have been following along with uh, Franz Papillon's Layer a Day Challenge, which is fantastic. Every month you get a theme and every week within that month you get a prompt to follow. And I love the prompts because they get you thinking about things that you might not have been thought about before or the things you might not have wanted to think about um, and they um, allow you to follow that thought process in a way that works for you. So I've learned a lot about, <laughs> about myself and the way I think over the last year doing this art journal. I always thought journaling was a really good idea, always came away from uh, kind of retreats and weekends thinking yeah this is this will be the time where I crack on with doing some journaling because that process of writing in a journal you learn a lot about yourself and you have that opportunity to process things but I never stuck with it I did it for a few days and then that was it um, so when I came across the idea of art journaling I thought maybe this is the thing that will get me really sticking with it um, and it has done clearly as we can see a whole year worth here um, uh, and also what I love about it is that um, you still get to go through that amazing process uh, that you get when you are using the written work in journaling. You are still exploring things, but perhaps in a different way. So it's been great for me and my neurodiverse brain to be able to kind of see where it goes with the prompts and to follow that and to learn how my brain travels on this journey when it's given things to think about. So I've really enjoyed seeing um, what my brain does with the prompts each week. So this is the journal. This is actually one of France's journals as well. So this journal uh, comes as a kit. Here's the one I'm about to make for this year. Oh my gosh, look how <laughs> look how thin this is when it first starts out. Look at all that extra bulk that's got added in here uh, over the last year. So it comes as a kit. Uh, you get all of the um, signatures um, and this is a journal that um, you get to Coptic bind. I'll show you that in a moment. So you get everything you need to do that. You get a little uh, special needle and thread um, and you get the stuff to make the cover with as well. So why I like this journal in particular, let me show you. So first of all, the, uh, the Coptic binding. This is what it looks like now. Um, uh, but the reason I love that is because as you go through the year, like when you're first starting off, for example, if I was working on this spread, if I was working on this in a normal bound journal, I would have this problem. My pages wouldn't be flat when I was working on them. The beauty of a Coptic bound journal is that you can do this so that you can find that point where it's completely flat. Let's keep going, there we go. Um, and know that you're always working on a flat surface. So as the journal gets bigger, you just keep flipping it and you're always working on a flat surface. So I really love that about the Coptic binding. I love the size of this journal. The whole point of France's challenge, it's called a layer a day, is that it makes it really easy for you to sit down and just do five, 10 minutes of creativity every single day to build up this piece. Uh, each week and this size is really easy to do that with you don't have to dedicate an hour to doing it also the the uh, the paper itself uh, is great it everything in here what I've used mostly in here are acrylic paints uh, distress inks and oxides collage um, stamps and stencils I have used um, this one as a page where I've used um, modeling paste uh, to create some texture so you can see how come it ends up uh, this fat um, but the paper uh, is great it'll take anything you throw at it so uh, that's the other reason that I really like this. What have I learned from from this uh, in creating this first of all I would when I do my binding on this next one it got a little bit tight at the end here 
you can see it's much looser here and these last couple of signatures are really starting to pull in so um, I will loosen my binding a little bit uh, this time round. Um, also as well you do get some seepage through so uh, depending on which uh, signature you're working on, you can see here, I really should have put some tape down here uh, to prevent the seepage. Um, <laughs> what I've also learned is that I don't really like using red <laughs> because red seeps everywhere. Oh my goodness, I loved doing this page, but oh my gosh, the red, you'll see bits of red on uh, quite a few of the pages that have just come through. Um, so, um, so I will, you can see as I went through, you can just about see here, I taped uh, this one here because this signature had quite a gap in it and it would have had the potential to seep through. Um, so just a few little uh, kind of learnings for me uh, to move forward into uh, next year's journal, which I'm really excited to start now. Um, but this has been amazing. I love this. I love picking this up and holding it. Again, the size makes that really easy. But just for me to look back and see my journey as I've gone through the year, my journey as an artist, but also my journey in terms of that processing and what's come up for me um, and how being able to kind of put this um, on a page using my creativity um, has really helped me. So. I'm going to do this flip through now. There are a few more pages than 52 in here because there are a few spares, um, but there's no way I was going to leave anything spare and blank in this book. Uh, as you can see, white space is not my forte. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I am going to stop talking and I am going to put the music on and do the flip through for you. Um, I'm not going to spend ages looking at each page. I'm not going to go into depth on each page. It's a journal. Each page is personal. Um, but I hope that you will find pages that you particularly like. If you find a page you really like and you want to take a bit of a deeper look at it, just press pause. Um, if you find that uh, looking through this very rather thick chunky journal is taking too long, then just hit the somewhere on your screen here will be a cog. Uh, click on that cog and you'll have the option to speed the video up so you don't have to go at my pace, you can go at your pace. So I hope you enjoy taking a look through my art journal for 2022. I hope it inspires you. I will put the links below to uh, to France's um, layer a day challenge and her forum so you can check that out if you're inspired to take part in 2023 and if you do I will see you there.